everybody, it's Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. Today for my reading journal, I am going to share with you my favorites. So my favorites page. And as you can see, I picked With Love from London and The Love Hypothesis. When I was looking for the book covers, I also came across a picture of them having coffee, which was a big part of the book and different things that they would say to each other. So I thought that that would be perfect to go along with it. I was also looking for other pieces that could go with the books and not be too dimensional. I decided on a paper from the hybrid product play from Ali Edwards. So I grabbed that and also the digital brush and printed this out on sticker paper. So it's not gonna be dimensional. I also searched for some beakers and I came across this beaker set with some hearts. And so I made a little border of that and a bigger one to put um, down next to the book. So I'm gonna put these two pages together and I have another faves video that I will put together too. So there's gonna be two fave videos um, hopefully this month and if not, then we'll go into May. But the uh, big fave this month was Meet Me in Paradise. So I am finishing up that and I will share that when I get it done. So I have these two and I also wanted to mention, because I would love your input, I am working on show, sharing with you my calendars for the month. So I have these and I'd love a comment and your input on whether or not um, you want to see the edited process for putting these together. Because when I'm talking in the voiceover, I think what I'm going to say since it's pretty self-explanatory, is in the voiceover, I'm just gonna talk about the books and just go a little more in depth with what I read, what I liked, and so on. So uh, I'm gonna put together this one in the video. I'm gonna put together February, and I'm gonna put together March. So, and I'm just gonna laugh at myself as I go along because I made a bunch of mistakes Nothing major, but you know, I'm just winging it and enjoying uh, adding in this calendar and like seeing all my books for the month. So again, just let me know in the comment section if you would like to see that. So for now, I am gonna get started on making this faves page and I am happy that you're here and watching this video. All right, I'm gonna switch to voiceover. I am going to start by matting the book cover on that yellow piece of paper and taking out a small chunk of it so that way I can add that to the bottom of this spread. I felt like a second little strip of the paper would be good. And I do want to mention that I am like completely ignoring the blue cover and I'm not adding any blue into this spread. Um, I just, I don't know, I couldn't work with the yellow and the red and the blue. It felt like it was very contrasting and I just didn't want to mess with the blue. And I'm trying to tell myself that just the red and the yellow does not mean it looks like ketchup and mustard, right? And I'm going to add in some neutral brown flowers as well in a little bit. I took that little Instagram picture. If I have the source, I'm going to leave it. But I took that uh, Instagram photo of them having coffee and I put a little flap on it. That way I could add a quote beneath it or my review. I haven't quite decided, but I knew I was going to probably need some extra room. I went looking in my stickers and decided to add the sticker from Alicia Michelle that says just one more chapter. I probably could have put it on some white paper, but I'm okay with it just blending in. I am peeling the stickers for my beakers and the beakers I found were different colors. So I recolored them in Photoshop elements to make them match the colors of the books and absolutely love how they came out. They came out so perfect. So I am laying down my little flowers that are red and yellow and adhering down the little flap. I think I'm going to put a quote underneath it and maybe next to it on the right hand side. Since the left had a sticker from Alicia Michelle, I decided to go see if I had one that would match kind of the theme of the book and I did and I found don't trade authenticity for approval and that just relates to the book and how especially with the main character Olive 
have, she really kind of fights to have her approval in the science communi- community, and I don't want to give away too much, but that definitely relates to the book. You just saw that I stamped some of the brown flowers. It's a similar shape that I found in my Allie Edwards stash, so I went ahead and used that flower. Added in some hearts, of course, with some uh, pink and blue ink. I am going to start on my thoughts for this book and then get distracted and I'm going to wind up going back and doing With Love from London. Um, I did wind up pulling off the cover of the the Love Hypothesis and adding a flap to that because I knew I was going to need more room for my review. So I did that while it was off camera because I think I was helping my daughter with something. So I just made a flap and now I'm coming back to do the review for With Love from London. So overall, it was a fantastic book about family, especially mother-daughter relationship, grief, moving forward, and embracing a new life. The main character, Val, is estranged from her mom, but she winds up inheriting her bookstore in London, and she goes over there to kind of deal with it and close that chapter, but quickly realizes through the help of her mom's friends and some other things that go on that her mom was really an incredible person and never stopped loving her and there's a deeper story to their estrangement and don't want to give away too much but it is a beautiful book with lots of layered characters and a layered mother-daughter relationship and such a good good book I was captivated from the beginning the quote at the bottom I put is grief is a treacherous journey but it doesn't last forever. So I really love that quote. I thought it was perfect because this book does have a lot to do with grief. I decided to add a second quote because it related to the books and I just put it on a piece of paper. So it's, she always said, you can tell a lot about a person by the books they keep. So that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut that out and just add it over to the right side of the book cover and I will just stamp the book rating right below it. So still have the book rating and plenty of room to add that in. I'm gonna go back over um, some words with my Tombow marker because I'd like to highlight a few words um, just for something a little different. I love doing that. So I'm gonna finish up with my review now on the love hypothesis. I started by saying from the first chapter, I was completely hooked. It was, you know, midnight in college trying to finish something and she grabs the first guy to kiss him. And I just thought of my college days and you know imagining the the book taking place there so the main character olive she is you know a stem woman and she is trying to get ahead in the science community and she winds up fake dating the hotshot uh professor named adam carlson yeah Carlson and um, it just goes from there and it's a really wonderful story about you know love and accepting love and standing up for yourself and being true to yourself and kind of figuring out yourself so there was a lot going on in the book but I really enjoyed it and even though I had to wait a long time for it from the library I really am glad that I waited and I got to read the book and I just loved their their friendship and their coffee chats and it was a great book. So what I'm gonna do on here is add to the bottom of this, love this book, and then I went looking in my stamp sets for a prompt that would work on it, and I came up with my favorite person. So then I will put it back on there, and I will highlight some words. I will also fill in my rating, which was five stars, for both of these books, highlighting the words um, like, grabs the first guy worth the weight and hot shot and just highlighting a few of those the quote i picked on the right hand side is this may be inappropriate but olive you are really you are extraordinary he was kind of like stumbling over his words too so you could just kind of tell if you had read the book and it was just just a great wonderful story about two people who didn't think that they would find love and they found love kind of like what this quote is I'm starting to wonder if this is what being in love is being okay with ripping yourself to shreds so the other person can stay whole just thought that that was a really powerful quote because 
like I said, these two really found love and they were not expecting it. So that is it for my spreads. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing both of these come together. I would love a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to stick around and see more of my videos. All right. I hope you have a great day. Bye.